Hi, welcome to Microman, the channel where we look at anything and everything under the microscope. Please subscribe and remember to comment below what you would like to see under the microscope. Today we're going to be looking at the blackhead. Let's get into it. So the slide you saw at the beginning of the video was already prepared with blackheads on it. And just a brief overview of what I did is I just squeezed my nose and out came all the blackheads and I put them or dabbed it onto a slide. And that's what we saw at the beginning after I put a cover slip on it. Now we are now looking at it under the microscope and let's explore this nastiness. Now that is a little disturbing. We seem to have found what is called a Demodex. I knew these things could be found on skin and I was in a sense hoping but also not hoping I would find one because it would be cool to show you but it also is kind of nasty knowing these things are on on me but nonetheless we have found one so this is a Demodex and what they are is they are microscopic mites. They have eight legs, making them arachnids. They live on humans and other small small mammals in the hair follicles and oil glands. And if you're wondering, do I have these as well? The answer is, well, most likely yes. There are always exceptions, but for the most part, every human has these things. So the question, is are they harmful and for the most part no they are not they are actually considered part of our natural microbiome and they help clean up dead skin cells and excessive oils that our body produces however if the population on our skin becomes too large then it can start to cause inflammation and itchiness so their population needs to be kept in control. Now, how did we get these things in the first place? Well, they're acquired through skin contact, so there's a good chance the moment you're born or around the time, sometime after you're born, then your mom or some family member probably gave them to you. Now, knowing that these things are on our bodies is probably not the most appealing thing to know. But there are things you can do to lower their numbers and keep your skin healthy. And that begins with having good hygiene. Making sure you take showers and wash, especially wash your face around the eyes as they like to live in the eyelash area. But by doing this, you can get rid of the excessive oils and the dead skin cells that these things enjoy eating. And it lowers the food supplies, the food supply for them by doing these things. There are also things that do kill them, such as tea tree oil. That is a more natural remedy for them. But there are also prescribed creams and oral medications that you can take, but those are really only recommended for when you have health sense health sense <laughs> health symptoms such as inflammation or itchiness, those types of symptoms. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting. Please subscribe and comment below what you would like to see under the microscope. And hopefully I see you next time. Thanks for watching.